Now it's the Liberals' turn, and the question being asked is one of its MPs, Hong Kong-born Gladys Liu, too close to the Chinese dictatorship and its propaganda arms. Is she the Liberals' Sam Dastiari, in short? Well, Sam Dastiari was, of course, a Labor senator who was forced to resign for taking cash from a Chinese billionaire, Wang Zhangmo, who ASIO warned was too close to the Chinese regime, has since been banned from Australia. Now, back when Dastiari was receiving Wang's money, some of it for himself, this Australian senator was actually defending China, stealing the South China Sea, telling Australia to stop criticising that. Like I say, the question is now whether the Liberals have their own Sam Dastiari. Gladys Liu, last election, won the marginal Victorian seat of Chisholm, where 70% of voters were born in China. The Prime Minister praised her then as a real Australian. Gladys has led you know, an amazing Australian life. Gladys came to this country in the mid-80s. She studied, she became an Australian citizen. She's a speech pathologist. She's raised a family here. She's built businesses. She's worked with her community. And... A lot there is spot on. But an ABC report now says... Liu is listed as a council member of two chapters of the China Overseas Exchange Association, uh, one of those positions from between 2003 and 2015. And that association was an arm of China's powerful state council. It's since been merged into the Communist Party's United Front Work Department, which is China's top propaganda arm. It's brief to work especially with influential Chinese, including overseas. Now, Professor Clive Hamilton, who's investigated China's influence in Australia, says that is a red flag. The two bodies are explicitly uh, created by the Communist Party of China in order to exert influence in countries like Australia. How much is there in this? Joining me is Liberal MP Gladys Liu. Gladys, thank you so much for your time. Can I just start, were you on the committee of two chapters of the China Overseas Exchange Association? One in Guangdong from between 2003 and 2015 and the other in Shandong? Well, good to be with you, Andrew. Uh, I can tell you that uh, I cannot recall uh, if, as it reported, that uh, from 2003 to 2015, 12 years long, uh, that if I can't recall, I can't be an active member of that uh, council, can I? How can you not recall a membership of 12 years? I mean, we've just shown your name listed there. I've got another document I can show you of your name listed in the other association. That's two associations, association lasting 12 years, and you can't recall it? Well, I can tell you that I have never been a member of this council, and, um, yeah, it can happen. Uh, they can put your name there without your no knowledge. OK. Let's just tease it further, because uh, something here is going to... A name is going to come up a couple of times uh, in further questions here. This association which you say you can't remember being part of for 12 years, is under the arm of China's United Front Work Department, which China's President Xi Jinping has called one of Chinese Communist Party's three magic weapons. In what way do you understand the United Front to be a weapon? Well, um, I will leave it uh, to the uh, professor, the, the Professor Hamilton, or other experts. But to me, uh, no, no, I no, no. That, that's uh, I was quoting. I was quoting the Chinese president Xi Jinping, not Clive Hamilton. He said that it was a magic weapon. Well, as I said, I don't know this uh, organisation, these two organisations, and when I looked at the, the, um, the position uh, of the, uh, the other organisation that I was a member, or in fact a, a secretary for, it was the Chinese Professional and Business Association. I did mention that uh, organisation in my inaugural speech, and I was the proud, I proudly being the uh, secretary for three years for that organisation. However, um, that, um, I have no knowledge that uh, that organisation was part of uh, whatever influential um, China body. Um, uh, if it was, it was definitely not during my time. You've never heard of the United Front Work Department, China's biggest propaganda arm, very active in Australia. I've... Never heard of it. 
I have, I have, I have, but uh, it was like you, um, through the media, I have no um, uh, first-hand knowledge. What do you understand it to be? Well, according to what I see in the news, um, uh, it's um, something um, maybe the, uh, the Chinese government uh, wanted to have some influence in other countries. But as I said, I have no first-hand knowledge of this organisation. You've been honorary president also of the Australia Young Men uh, General Commerce Association. Um, it has backed China's theft of the South China Sea. Uh, was your association wrong to support that theft? Well, as the honorary um, uh, president of the organisation, uh, they didn't uh, tell me everything that they do. Um, and in fact, um, most of the time when you're an honorary president or honorary chairman or honorary advisor, what you do is uh, they want uh, to use your fame. They want uh, you to attend their functions and they want um, to have you there to lift the, the profile of their organisation and their event. Um, uh, definitely, uh, there was no um, information to me uh, what they, they do day to day and I have no knowledge of um, uh, whether they support or uh, not support um, the course that you just mentioned. Well, once again, you've got a memory fail on that one. Look, the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague has said that China uh, taking over the South China Sea was unlawful. Do you agree that it was unlawful? Um, the, this is a matter for uh, the, uh, the Foreign Minister. Uh, I definitely um, uh, put... I would put uh, Australia's interests first, and that's exactly what I have been doing. Uh, I look after my electorate of Chisholm, uh, and I work with uh, the government uh, to put interests of Australians first. Well, the uh, government's position is, of course, that the theft was unlawful. It is challenging China's theft of the sea. Do you support the government's position that China stealing the South China Sea is unlawful? Well, my understanding is um, a lot of countries is trying to claim um, ownership, um, sovereignty of um, the South China Sea uh, because of uh, various reasons. And my position is with the Australian government. Can I just hear you say it, that you support the Australian positions, the government's position, that the theft of the South China Sea by China is unlawful? Is it unlawful, yes or no? Well, as I said, um, I want to make sure that um, Australians' uh, interests uh, were put first and foremost. Uh, and if it's going to affect um, our trade or our um, air, air um, um, travelling, uh, then definitely that is something that I would not support. Well, in fact, it does affect the, our trade. 60% of it goes through that sea. And we have been warned by China to stay away. We are thinking of challenging that with our Navy, and you're here not able to actually support the government's position that it was unlawful. Is there some problem with you agreeing that it was unlawful? It's been held so in un under international law. Why are you not uh, going along with that? Well, I, I never said that I'm not going along with it. Uh, what I'm saying is I always put uh, Australia's interests first. And after all, um, I am uh, a member of parliament for the Australian government. Uh, and so, of course, I will put Australia's interests first. And whatever, um, uh, as I said in my maiden speech too, uh, I will always uh, want to have a good relationship between um, um, Australia and China, um, and uh, I will put Australia's um, interests first. Well, Australia's, China's in Australia's interest with China is to have the South China Sea not stolen by China. And I, I, everyone listening can hear that you are reluctant to actually go along with that fairly clear proposition, and which is in fact your party's position too. Can I just hear, you're also, uh, from you, you're also honorary president of the United Chinese Commerce Association. Now there is evidence that this too is connected to the United Front, uh, true or not? Um, what is that organisation again? I don't think I am. Uh, in fact, uh, I am not uh, any honorary president or uh, chairman of any organisations at this point of time. You have been honorary president of the United Chinese Commerce Association. Have you forgotten that as well? Commerce. Um. 
I can I jog been. your memory? The, uh, the honorary permanent president is Dr Lo Mantuen. Do you know him? No. Maybe he's known by an um, um, English name. OK. Last year, you attended a forum at Crown Casino with 40 Chinese groups, some with Chinese Communist Party links. That meeting called on the Australian government to be friendlier to China. You are reported telling that group that that resolution should be sent to Canberra MPs. In what way should Australia be friendlier to China? Well, um, definitely, uh, I attend a lot of functions, uh, whether it's uh, Chinese, uh, organised by Chinese organisations or, or um, 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 mainstream and other organisations. I have been attending a lot of functions. Now, uh, when I say um, be friendly with China, definitely, uh, as, um, if you refer to my maiden speech, uh, I, I did say I would like to um, help uh, in... Uh, any way I can to have a healthy relationship, relationship between China and Australia in the interest of Australia. Well, can I go repeat my question, but break it up into two halves then, perhaps? Do you remember going to that meeting last year of 40 Chinese groups which said that the media was hostile to China and Australia should be friendlier? I think I was there, yes. You do remember that? Do you remember telling yes. the group that they should send that, uh, that, uh, that resolution to MPs? Yes. I suggest that anyone, if they have any concerns, to contact their local member of parliament. Can you now tell us in what way should Australia be more friendly to China? Can you give some examples? Well, um, that uh, is what our for foreign minister has been doing very well. Uh, and she has been uh, looking at uh, the relationship between the all countries and um, that she has been um, um, talking um, on, the, um, on the interest for the interests of Australia with other foreign ministers. No, but this, this was a resolution only last year. In what way has the government been friendlier to China than it was last year? Last year, your resolution that you were part of said the media was too hostile and the government should be friendlier. In what way should it have no. been friendlier than, than it was last year? No, I think that's a bit of a misunderstanding. I was in the room when the 40 organisations uh, met. Uh, I wasn't uh, participating. Uh, I didn't speak. Um, and uh, I, uh, I just um, be there to, to make sure that uh, I know what they are doing and what they are thinking. Well, you say you didn't, you didn't well, speak, but I've just quoted, you just agreed that you did tell the meeting something. <laughs> yes. When I was invited to say something and I said that, uh, yes, uh, if you want to let your uh, member parliament know uh, your position, do that. And that's what the I Herald's... always encourage people to do. The Herald Sun has reported, James Campbell there, that the Victorian Liberal Party was forced to return more than $300,000 from fundraising auctions with prizes of a dinner with Malcolm Turnbull and others. They had to return that money reportedly because of security concern over the successful bidders. Guests at two tables bought by you. Did that dinner happen? Um, I remember that dinner. That was... Um, um not long after um, the former Prime Minister uh, was, uh, got the position. Uh, and uh, yes, I was in the room and I had uh, quite a number of guests there. However, uh, there was no such a thing of uh, $300,000 being returned because of um, uh, a dinner that didn't happen. Uh, that is completely false. Was there concerns raised about the guests that you had brought? No. Was there a donation no, made and returned? No. It was all false. It was, um, it was, like, made up. I don't know how people made it up and got reported uh, and people believed it. Uh, there was no such a thing. No. Can I just uh, end by just asking you a couple of things? Xi Jinping has made himself dictator for life. He is cracking down on dissidents, human rights abusers, or human rights uh, activists, rather. He has imprisoned Christians. He's imprisoned 
uh, Uyghurs in uh, re-education camps, he's threatening Taiwan. Do you consider Xi Jinping a dictator? Um, well, honestly, I have been focusing on um, um, serving uh, the city of Chisholm, um, and I have, that's exactly what I've done since the election. Uh, I only had one day off uh, in the last uh, three and a half months. Um, I don't really Gladys, know, and Gladys, I don't really... Excuse uh, me, you were born in Hong Kong. At the moment, you have seen yes. in your home place people in their millions at times, 1.7 million, in their millions protesting against what China's doing there, and you don't have any opinion on Xi Jinping? Uh, OK, so if you want to talk about China, let me just tell you one thing. Um, I was born in Hong Kong, and I never uh, stepped um, uh, into China um, before I came to Australia. Uh, and uh, I had the Hong Kong uh, ID card. I never hold a China passport. Um, uh, I had the Hong Kong um, travelling document, and then I've got the Australian passport. Um, in terms of Hong Kong, uh, it, is, it is very, very sad um, for anyone to see what has happened. Um, but Gladys, I have, I still simple have, uh, question, yeah, simple I, question. Just... Is Xi Jinping a dictator? Uh, that is not an, a question for me to answer, but I can tell you about Hong Kong. Uh, it is very, very I don't want to know about to Hong Kong. I'm asking had... you about Xi Jinping, the dictator of communist China, and you don't have an opinion about him. I do have an opinion, but I'm not going to uh, use the word dictator. He is a... Um, uh, in their system, uh, an elected um, uh, a chairman uh, or, or president, uh, they call it, uh, for, uh, for China. Gladys so, Liu, are, um, you a, are, you a, are you, in effect, a spokesman for the Chinese communist regime in Australia? Uh, the uh, simple answer is no. Um, Gladys I, Liu, I, as I thank said, you so much indeed for your time. Thank you, Andrew.